Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So, um, let me just turn this music down right quick. Okay, so what's going on and why I have this half done makeup on is because my power's out right now. And I was on Facebook Live and I was just getting started to do a look and my power went out. So because I only have my base eyeshadow on, I'm going to continue the look here. Um, so you guys can choose whether or not you want to watch it. It's completely up to you. Um, I also am going to be adding a few charms on um to the eyeshadow and a few little fun things. And I'm gonna be using a lot of new products today that I don't normally use. So um, yeah, we have that coming up. But um, I just wanted to continue this look because I already have some of it on and there's no point of washing it all off and wasting, wasting it. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna Go into this palette right here, the Fuego palette by Hank and Henry, and I'm using this shade right here. It's called Soul, and um, that's the shade that I have on my eyes right now. Um, so I'm just going to add a little more just to blend out the edges, and then I think I'm going to go in with like a lighter shade um, on the lid. Please forgive me for using my viewfinder as a mirror. Um, it's just because I don't have any light in the room that I'm in. So I'm relying on daylight and the color shows up a lot more saturated in the camera than it actually does in my mirror because of the light. So that is why you will see me looking at myself a lot in the video. Um, so the look that I'm doing today is a lemon wedge inspired look. Um, I am a huge fan of a yellow eyeshadow. I love it. I think that yellow is just a great color if you want to wear it alone in one shade or if you want to pair it with other colors like greens, blues, uh, oranges. Um, it pairs well with pretty much any other eyeshadow color. Even brown. It pairs really well with brown. Um, so I'm just going to go in with this palette right here. This is the Beauty Glazed Over the Rainbow palette. And I'm just going to go in with this yellow shade right here. Because I want to lay down a lighter yellow just on the lid. And I'm going to do the same thing over here. Oh, that's so cute. So I got these little um, lemon wedge charms. I bought them on Wish. I'll show them to you guys. One sec. I have a whole bunch of them, a whole bunch of little fruits, but I'm going to be using these ones right here, which are the lemon wedges. I don't know if you guys can see them. Oh, there are my lights. So right here are the lemon wedges. Um, so I'm going to use those in my look today. I'm just packing this color onto the lid. I'm only going about halfway. Um, I just want to like kind of brighten up that inner corner in the front. And then I'm going to go back in with my dark yellow and actually, maybe I'm not going to go back in with my dark yellow. 
think I'm just gonna blend this just like this. There we go. That's pretty. I'm gonna go in a little bit on the side right here, my darker yellow. Just to blend this a little bit more. I want it a little bit darker over here. go okay now I'm gonna go in with a clean brush because I just want to really really blend the edges right here really well I don't want any harsh lines of color or anything like that. See in the mirror, it doesn't really look like there's any harsh um, blotchy parts of color, but when I look at you guys, I can see where the color is all saturated. Okay. So, now that that's done, I'm just going to leave it for a minute and I'm going to do my face makeup right quick. Let's just fix this. There we go. Okay, so for foundation today, I'm going to use this. I think it's called Kosas. Um, and this is a tinted facial oil. So what it is, is it's a medium coverage foundation, but it's, um, like an oil based foundation, I guess. So it's super hydrating. I just did my skincare, but I did not put any moisturizer on because I knew I was going to use this foundation and, um, Oh, I need to shake it. It's all oily. Uh, yeah, I, I knew I was going to use this foundation and I didn't want to have too much hydration on my skin. So I didn't put any primer. I didn't put any um, moisturizer on. Okay, so I'm going to lay down this foundation. So this is what the bottle looks like. And the shade that I have is 8.2 tone, and it says deep with not with neutral undertones. So I'm just gonna hope that this is my color. And if it's not, then I will go in with uh, it's my tinted moisturizer and fix her up. Okay, so it's very like liquidy like I can't even turn my hands so you guys can look at it it's literally just like very liquidy and the first thing I notice is that my sponge is like soaking up a lot of the product because 
It's essentially just like oils. It's also a little bit darker than I would like my skin to be, but that's okay. Oh, wow. So um, before I get too far with this, I'm actually just going to take it off because it is a lot darker than my natural skin tone and it's very oily like it doesn't feel good on my skin so i'm just gonna grab a makeup wipe and take this off i guess we're not using new products today um, okay, so I'm just going to take this off. I'm, I just got this product. Um, it's by New Skin and it's micellar water. I'm pretty sure it does not say that on the bottle, but it says it's new color, waterproof makeup remover, eyes and lips. So, um, this is to take off your makeup and it says on the back to activate it, you shake it. So I'm just going to Shake it up, and that is what it looks like now. So I'm just gonna take one of these lint-free cotton pads and just drop it on there, and you see, we'll see how it works. So apparently this product that I'm using, this new skin product, is supposed to be very hydrating to the skin. Um, and it's doing a really great job of taking off this makeup. Like it's working really well. I just put like maybe four drops on the, on the lint-free cotton pad. Um, as far as it goes with the oil, oil foundation, hydrating foundation, I will not be using that again. I definitely probably will not buy it even in my own natural shade just because, um, it's, it's too liquidy. Like it's so hard to use. I've never... I've never tried something like it's so hard to just get it to stay where you want it, especially like I like to use like I have a little acrylic palette where I like to dump all my foundations on. If I'm using foundations or if I'm mixing foundations, um, if I poured that on my little acrylic palette, it would just run right off and I would have so many issues with it. So, um, yeah, I probably will not use that product again. I probably won't buy it again. Um, it, I like the idea is good, I think, and it might work for some people. Um, it's just not for me. It is a very, very light foundation. I will give it that. It feels very light, but it also goes on very greasy. I don't think I would be able to use it without setting powder on my whole face. And I'm not usually one to put a setting powder on my whole face. So, yeah, it's just a little bit much for me. But um, as far as the new skin makeup remover, I am really liking this. Like, my skin doesn't feel oily. Like, it definitely took all the all of that oil from that makeup off of my skin my skin feels really good um yeah I really like it um I think that I wish it came in a bigger bottle <laughs> um for the for the price of it I wish that the bottle was bigger but other than that it does what it says it does and it works really good and I don't 
like you don't feel have that feeling like you need to go in with a cleanser like some makeup removal removers are oil based and you feel like you need to go in with a cleanser after but it doesn't feel like that like my skin feels clean so now back to the makeup I'm going to put on a primer now because I'm not using a hydrating foundation the primer that I'm using is this one right here and it's by benefit and it's called the poor professional and it's a hydrating primer it also um, reduces this the size of your pores so it makes them look less visible and this is actually my favorite primer I love 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 it okay so we have a primer on I'm going to go in with my peerless um, perfect glow BB cream so this is a tinted moisturizer this is my favorite foundation you guys know because I use it every day I have like a six month supply of it in my pantry um, yeah it matches my skin tone very well I never have any problems with it it's very lightweight uh, I definitely recommend it if you're a person who's not really into full coverage foundations this is definitely um, the foundation for you because I am um, a person that's very like I just like to even out my skin tone I don't need um, a whole lot of coverage um, I have like if I have any blemishes or anything I will just take a concealer which I'm going to do right now and I will just cover them up with a little bit of concealer so the concealer that I'm using is this Natasha Denona um, transfix matte concealer and this is in the shade um, 10 and neutral come on focus there we go so this is my first time using this um, my first impression is it's very like liquidy it's very it's very light like it's not thick it's a lightweight formula so I'm just going to use it to cover up any dark areas that I have on my skin well I'm going to try to use it for that we'll see my regular concealer that I like to use is the Too Faced Born This Way which is quite thicker than this it's a it's a more full coverage um, concealer. Um, so we'll see how this works. So far, so good. I mean, does it cover as good as my Too Faced one? No. Does it feel as heavy as my Too Faced one? No. <laughs> so I very much love lightweight um makeup products though okay we're almost done laying down this foundation I'm just gonna get right under the eyes so before this video um i was on live on facebook so this is kind of a continuation of that but if you're on my facebook page looking for the rest of this video it is gone i did not upload it i just deleted it because um it was literally only me putting on my base eyeshadow so i deleted the rest of the video um oh and it was me freaking out because the power was going out in my house so yeah needless to say I deleted it um but I didn't want to leave this look 
like undone because I was just at right at the beginning. So before I did the video, before I went live, I did my brows because I usually do. Um, if you guys would like me to start doing brows as a part of the video, I definitely will. But just comment below and let me know if you guys, if that's something that you guys are interested in seeing. Um, and yeah, I'll start doing brows during the videos um the only reason I don't is because I don't know I just feel like they take a while and they take away from like the eyeshadow looks and stuff because some people don't want to sit here and watch the uh the brows and some people don't want to sit there and watch the face makeup they just want to see the eyeshadow look and that's fine but um, if you guys are those people who want to see brows, please let me know. And if you enjoy my makeup videos, make sure that you guys subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any videos. It's not just makeup that we do over here. Okay, girlfriend, we do some cooking, we do some vlogs, we do some costumes. We do all kinds of stuff on this channel. So make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so you don't miss any of our videos. And you get notified whenever I go live. Or not live. Sorry. Whenever I have a new video out. <laughs> Too many platforms, guys. Okay. Um, I'm going to go in with a concealer. I'm going to use this Natasha Denona concealer under my eyes just to try her out. Oh, this is a little bit lighter than my than I'd like, but that's okay. I'm going to use like quite a lot because it's very thin. I'm going to put some right here. Um the formula is very like I like the way it feels. Like, it, it's very smooth. It's very, um, like, it doesn't, even though I have all of this concealer on, it doesn't feel like I have any on. Like, it feels very, very light. So, I'm just going to take a blender. You know what? I'm going to take... There we go. I'm just gonna. Oh wow, this is drying really fast. This is drying so fast, you guys. Like, this is gonna be so blotchy on my skin because it's pretty much already dry. Okay, so my thoughts on this um, concealer. Do I like it? It's okay. One thing that I'm not liking about it is like it dries so fast and I'm having to move it around. Like it's making my my makeup look blotchy because it dried too fast and I didn't have time to get it where I wanted it. It's also not giving me a whole lot of coverage under the eyes where I would like it. So I am going to go in with um, another concealer just like right under my eyes um it is very light like i i do like the formula except for um if you guys are going to use that natasha denona um 
concealer, I would say make sure you do it with a wet sponge. I am not one to normally wet my sponges. Um, but I would say if you are using that foundation, definitely wet your sponge because it's going to give you a lot more time to move your product around and it's just going to manipulate the product a lot better for you. Um, or do it one part at a time and don't lay down all the foundation or all the concealer at once the way that I just did. Otherwise, you might have a hard time with it. But other than that, it looks really nice. Like, I like it. And then she had a beautiful um, frosty glow about her. Mm. I like it. I think it's super pretty. It's a really pretty concealer. It's just, it dries too quick. And it's because the formula is so thin, it's going to dry like that. But um, if you just use a wet sponge with it, you shouldn't have any problems. Okay, so let's go in with a contour. I'm going to do the Coco Contour Palette by Too Faced. And let's see if I have any brushes over here. Um, I'm just going to use this Alamar angled brush to add in my contour. So I'm going to start up here. I'm just going to add a little bit at a time. And I'm just going to use this nice stippling motion to get my contour where I want it. And if it needs to be blended out afterwards, then I will make sure I go back and blend her out. So I'm just using this to warm up my skin tone and add a little bit of dimension back into the skin. So pretty, oh my gosh. Uh. Okay, and I'm just gonna take a bigger brush and just blend the edges get it looking more natural I don't like having like that harsh line right there that people sometimes get when they bake their um, when they bake their cheeks I am not a huge fan of that um, I don't like having a lot of sharp lines on my face from my makeup. I like it to look very natural. So, uh, I'm going to add a little bit of contour on the sides of my nose. Okay. Um, now I'm going to go in with a blush. I'm going to use this little blush right here. It's by Tarte and it's called High Performance Naturals. Um, it's a 12 hour Amazonian clay blush. If I can get it out of the box, I'm going to use it. And this is what it looks like. So it has this little um, pan stamp that says Tarte and it has a little like a little path through the Amazon on it. And just going to take this brush. So this is in the shade Kisses. And I'm just gonna put it right here. And 
and sweep it upwards. I feel like this is not going on as dark as I would like. Ooh, there we go. Okay, so it's a nice peachy blush. It's super cute. Now that I have the blush on, I am going to go in with my highlighter. And before, that is a little bit wet. Um, before I put on my highlighter, I'm just going to woo, and I'm just gonna spray my brush. I am using my Ofra highlighter in the shade Blissful, and it is super pretty. So I'm just going to lay it down right here. I'm actually going to switch brushes to a fan brush right quick um, so I can do and do my Cupid's bow. I'm just going to add some right on the bridge of my nose at the top just to kind of bring that bridge forward little dust up here and a little tiny dust down here not a lot there we go Okay, we have the face is done. So I'm going to now go in and add some little charms to my eyeshadow. Let me see if I can get a pair of tweezers here. Um, so I'm gonna add some charms and some stones. To my eyeshadow look. And I'm going to apply them just with some lash glue. So before I add them on, I'm just going to add a little inner corner highlight moment right here.
and I'm just I just added some CoverGirl Undercover True Blend Concealer and I'm just um, like buffing out the edges just so that um, there isn't any like harsh lines when I lay down the highlight. So I'm going to just buff that out. And do the same over here. Um, let me grab a highlight. Uh. Okay, so I'm going to use this highlight. This is my favorite one to use. My son got into it and he has destroyed it. But it is by Violet Boss. And it doesn't have a name, but it's this white iridescent shimmer color. Um, so I am going to apply that color to my inner corner and just add a nice shimmery highlight in there. Same on this side. And I'm going to go back in in a minute and kind of blend out that the edges of this highlight. Make them... Um, Nice and blended like the rest of my eyeshadow. So I'm just taking a, an angled um, brush. And I really, really love these brushes for blending. I don't know why. I just really feel like they get the job done for me. And... If you guys watch my videos, you will see me use these angled brushes for blending a lot. Okay, so we now have um, an inner corner highlight. I'm just going to grab some lash glue and put it on the backs of my little charms. The first one. And... literally just going to stick it on Okay. Okay, we have the little lemon wedges on. I'm just going to add like a couple of random rhinestones. Just like little miscellaneous rhinestones.
Okay, I'm going to go in with my liner and I'm just gonna add a nice black liner. Okay, so I would really love for this one to be a little bit straighter. a little bit pointier there we go okay so now that we have the winged eyes I'm going to quickly just go in and add a little bit of shadow um, on the bottom right here I'm just gonna go in with that really light shade of yellow that I used on the top. And I'm just gonna add a little bottom shadow. Um, just to tie the look all together. Oh no. I seriously just got black eyeliner all over. I'm going to have to cover this, you guys, and redo it. Because I just got black eyeliner all over my bottom, my bottom lash line. So, I'm just going to blend this a little. There we go. All fixed. I'm gonna change brushes because this one may have liner still on it and we don't want that. So I'm just gonna go in with a different brush um, and I'm gonna go back into those yellow shades. Just add them in on the bottom. And just create a, like a pretty little halo of yellow around the eye so that the eyeshadow all ties in together and looks super nice. And then I'm just going to blend this out.
Okay. So we're almost done. I'm just going to add some mascara. Before I do, I'm going to get this liner off of my lashes. That was a bad idea. Um, makeup remover. Please don't mind the wind, you guys. There's a huge storm outside right now. That is why I did this look on YouTube instead of doing it on Facebook Live. My power keeps cutting out. Um, yeah, there's a really, really bad, like, hailstorm outside. It's, like, freezing rain, and, yeah, it's really bad. So, that being said, I'm not wearing this look out anywhere. <laughs> I'm just wearing it for you guys. Okay, before I do the mascara, I'm just gonna go in and do, um, a quick swipe with a white eyeliner on my bottom lash line and this is going to brighten up my eye You can also use a nude liner for this as well. Okay, and now I'm going to go into my Too Faced Damn Girl mascara, and it is in the shade Black. I'm pretty sure it's, yeah, shade Black. And I'm just going to coat my lashes. Okay, we have mascara. I'm just going to add my lashes. I already prepped them, they're ready to go. I'm gonna stick those on. Um, I'm actually gonna use a lash applicator to stick them on and I like to take my hand mirror and I'll hold it underneath like so and look down into my mirror while I'm applying my lashes and then I'm just going to take a regular pair of tweezers and just use them to kind of arrange my lashes where I want them. Okay, now I'm going to go in with the other one and do the other side. And the lashes that I'm using are from Dollar Tree and they are by Ioni Handmade Lashes and they are um, in the style Carmen. 
and I often use these lashes for my makeup looks that I do on videos or on lives. Oh no, that one literally ripped off my eyeliner when I went to take it off. So now I have to touch up my eyeliner and reapply my lash. Okay, while I'm waiting for this liner to dry, I'm going to add a cute little pink lip to this look. So I have these two Jeffree Star lip colors that I'm going to use. And this one is in the shade Rose Matter. Let's see. Can we get focus? Uh, maybe she's too small. Okay, so this one's in the shade Rose Matter. And this one is in the shade Skin Tight. Oh, that one focused. Um, so I'm going to apply these lip colors. I'm gonna do the first one, the darker one first. I'm almost just using it as like a lip liner. You guys, that weather out there is so bad. Okay, I'm gonna let this um, lip color dry for a second before I add the other one because I don't want my applicator to get all dark pink. So I'm just gonna uh, add this lash on now. I know you guys, this video is all over the place, but this video was also very short notice. Um, I ha already had like nearly half a look on and I had to figure out what I could do to salvage the look. So, but I have to say like, I really love this look. It turned out so good, you guys. Can you guys hear that? Oh my gosh, like, I feel like my house is gonna like get up and go to Oz in a minute. <laughs> like, it is no joke out there, you guys, like. Okay. I'm then gonna go in with this, what's this called? Skin Tight Lip Shade. This is like a light bubble bubble gum. Bubble gum pink lip shade. Mm. 
It's so pretty. Do I do a gloss? Should we do a gloss? Hmm. I think I'm just going to leave it matte. This is so, so pretty, you guys. Okay, I'm gonna take the hair down so you guys can see what the finished look looks like with my hair down. Do this center part that I've been loving. I'm like living in this center parted hair look. Okay, you guys. So this is the final lemon look. And so I'll get nice and close so you guys can see all the little charms and details of the look. What do you guys think? Do you like it? I think it turned out really, really pretty. I'm gonna do a lot more fruit looks because this was a super fun look and it really brightened up my rainy day. Um, so if you guys would like to follow me on social media, I am going to tag all my social media handles in the um, description down below. Um, if you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you guys have not subscribed to the channel yet, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any videos and you're here with us every time we do something cool because you guys don't want to miss it. I hope everyone has an amazing day today. I hope that you guys go out and be a blessing to somebody else today, build somebody else up, make them feel confident in them, in their own skin and in themselves and just spread love and joy to everyone that you um, come across, be kind to others, be humble, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.